My name's Alan Fell. I'm head of the props department here at the Royal Shakespeare Company in Stratford-upon-Avon. The prop store here at the Royal Shakespeare Company is a, a bit of an Aladdin's cave and a lot of the stuff that's in it um, has been here for an awfully long time. We, we get asked to do all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff, so there are nine of us all together. We have different disciplines. There are carpenters, people who are good with metalwork. We also make the soft props and all the paper props and documents that you'll see in each individual production. The designer will, um, will present a model, they'll give us a model showing, and that gives us all the flavour of what they're trying to achieve in the production. We'll also be given photographic reference, sometimes we get drawings, scale drawings, and it's then my job to take all that reference, pull that all together. Those drawings go out onto the shop floor, and the guys, we decide what materials we're going to use, what's the best way of doing it, how to make it durable, and it's going to stand up to the, the abuse that it'll probably get <laughs> during each individual show. And it's then their job to actually start putting that thing together and realising the whole thing from the, the small scale model through to the finished object. Back in Shakespeare's time, they wouldn't have the range of materials that are available to us nowadays. We use a lot of silicon casting, um, acrylic resins and stuff like that, which obviously they wouldn't have had. It would have been a lot of wood, maybe some metal and, and natural kind of leather material and, and, and fabrics and stuff like that. We use a lot of modern techniques here. Um, we use um, computer-aided design quite a lot and, and build props and the sets in virtually in three dimensions. We pull all those kind of strands together to, to, to complete a finished object, whatever that may be. We do use coins. We use a lot of them that we can buy are replicas. Um, they use for reenactment and stuff like that. Shakespeare definitely would have used coins. It would have been quite important, as it's quite a, a, you know an obvious part of everyday life. That it, as it as it is now, as it would have been then. We're very conscious of the fact that quite a few of the audience won't actually see the coins or what's on a coin, but they'll hear it. And obviously, coins clicking together in someone's hand, you make that ref you automatically make that reference. So the props that appear on the, the new two pound coins, um, I'm thinking first first and foremost uh, the the jester's hat and the and the stick. Uh, the first one that springs into mind is touchstone in, in as you like it. The dagger and the crown. Um, I'm thinking straight away about the stabbing in Julius Caesar for the dagger, crown in Richard II, which is again an iconic, quite important prop in, in Richard II. The skull and the rose. Um, obviously we use the rose. The rose is, is, is spoken about quite a lot in Romeo and Juliet. And the skull, obviously we're talking about Yorick again in Hamlet. Every day is different. Every, there's no two days that are the same. And there's an awful lot of job satisfaction to be able to stand back from something that you can see on stage that's quite a spectacle and be safe in the knowledge that you've had a little bit of a hand in, in the look of it.